it's younger people who want to have that physical something. Maybe they don't even have the means to play it. Maybe there's a little bit of nostalgia going on. We sell maybe a few dozen a month. Oof. Big numbers, right? But compared to what that was for several years, that's huge. There are a couple new companies out that are selling their own variation of a portable player. And people are buying these up. One of the reasons is for that TV show, Stranger Things. So it brings back that nostalgia and they have, and they have tapes, they have Walkmans, boom boxes, and then people see that, oh, this is kind of cool, we'll go look for some of these. A lot of smaller upcoming bands have embraced the cassette format which is great to see. Local acts, acts that come through touring. They're easy to move around, right? And I imagine they'd be significantly cheaper to press than, than vinyl. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm Adam. I'm Will. I'm Cole. We are Baloney, Colorado. <laughs> So I had a, an old Astro van that I was driving around for a couple of years, and it only had a cassette player in it. The radio didn't work, so we went to Value Village and bought us, you know, a ton of, <laughs> a ton of cassettes. <laughs> uh, personal favorites: Ray Charles, Jerry Lee Lewis, that sort of thing. So when, every time we were on our way to a gig, we'd blast those on on cassette in the van. So when we were making our own music, we said, "Oh, you know, we got to get cassettes because this is kind of what we're listening to and and you know, going to gigs with and stuff." Um, merch is definitely where most of the money's at for us at this level, anyways. So. Any physical copy of music selling is, is a win. My business director and I, we started three years ago. He sent me a news article on the cassette tape resurgence. So I laughed a little bit. I checked it out. So I came back to him and I thought, okay, yeah, this is awesome. It just brought the nostalgia back and I, we noticed that there was a market for this with bands releasing uh, music on cassette tape during the pandemic and we just dived in. The demographics go anywhere from about 17, 18 years old to 45, 50. So then you have your tape collectors that are in their late 30s, 40s. But then the younger generation, they're seeing this and they might have seen tapes when they were growing up. But that depends on when they were born, whether it was late 80s or early 90s. And then they see them again. Then they thought, oh, I, I didn't know that people still made these. So they see that and that kind of attracts them to it, especially if they're in a band. We've had a couple of people that have that said they're super cool. We've had people that have gotten us to sign them. It's, it's kind of one of those things that I think a lot of people like just having something physical from the band, not so much for the music aspect, but just for the, you know, kind of idea of a souvenir or something from the show. 